Do you have this top 7 ultra rare and most valuable Jefferson nickel 5 cents to look for your pocket change for more than a thousands of dollar, even if your Jefferson nickel don't help to you retire early they could still be worth more than face value. Coin valuation depends on several factors including rarity. The 1954 Jefferson Nickel is part of the Jefferson Nickel series, which has been in circulation since 1938. Though the 1954 Nickel is not considered rare in most conditions, high-grade examples or those with full steps or error varieties can be valuable to collectors. History of the 1954 Jefferson Nickel, the Jefferson Nickel, designed by Felix Schlag, features Thomas Jefferson on the obverse and his Virginia home, Monticello, on the reverse. This design remained unchanged from its introduction in 1938 until 2004. The 1954 Jefferson nickel is composed of 75% copper and 25% nickel. Key varieties and errors, full steps, FS, designation, coins with full steps on the Monticello building are highly prized. Full steps refer to a well-struck coin where all the steps on Monticello are visible. Due to weak strikes in this period, full steps are uncommon and carry a premium. Repunched mint mark, RPM some 1954 D and 1954 S nickels exhibit repunched mint marks, where the D or S mint mark was struck more than once, creating a doubling effect. RPMs are popular with collectors and can increase the coin's value. Double die error, there are reports of some 1954 nickels exhibiting double die varieties, where parts of the design, like the lettering or Jefferson's profile, are doubled due to a misaligned die during striking. Other errors, miscellaneous minting errors like off-center strikes, die cracks, or lamination errors can also increase the value of the coin. Current value of the 1954 Jefferson nickel, the value of a 1954 Jefferson nickel depends on its condition, whether it has full steps, and if it exhibits any errors. Here's a general breakdown of the value, according to the NGC price guide, as of October 2024, a Jefferson nickel from 1954 in circulated condition is worth between $3 and $5. However, on the open market 1954 nickels in pristine, uncirculated condition sell for as much as $2,625. Collectability, while the 1954 Jefferson nickel is common in circulated condition, collectors are particularly interested in well-preserved coins with full steps or notable errors. High-grade examples of the 1954 S nickel are slightly more challenging to find, making it more desirable to some collectors. Conclusion, the 1954 Jefferson nickel is relatively common in circulated condition, but higher-grade examples, especially those with full steps or error varieties, can carry a significant premium. The 1962 Jefferson Nickel is part of the ongoing Jefferson Nickel series, which began in 1938 and features Thomas Jefferson on the obverse and his home, Monticello, on the reverse. While not particularly rare, the value of a 1962 Jefferson Nickel can be influenced by its condition, any errors, and whether it has the full steps designation on the reverse. History of the 1962 Jefferson Nickel, designed by Felix Schlag, the Jefferson Nickel features a 75% copper and 25% nickel composition, which has been standard since its introduction. The coin's obverse displays a left-facing profile of Thomas Jefferson, while the reverse shows Monticello, his estate in Virginia. Key varieties and errors, full steps, FS, designation, one of the key factors in the value of a Jefferson Nickel is whether it qualifies for the full steps designation. This designation applies to coins with well-struck, clearly defined steps on Monticello's staircase on the reverse. Full steps coins are rare due to the generally weak strikes of the 1960s. Repunched mint mark, RPM some 1962, D nickels may exhibit a repunched mint mark, where the D mint mark was stamped more than once, creating a doubled appearance. RPM varieties are desirable to error collectors. Double die error, while no major double die varieties are widely known for the 1962 Jefferson nickel, any such errors that exist can increase a coin's value significantly. Other errors, errors such as off-center strikes, die cracks, or planchet issues can also raise the value of a 1962 Jefferson nickel. Current value of the 1962 Jefferson nickel, the value of the 1962 Jefferson nickel varies depending on its condition, mint mark, and any special characteristics like full steps or minting errors. According to the NGC price guide, as of October 2024, a Jefferson nickel from 1962 in circulated condition is worth between $4 and $8.
However, on the open market 1962 nickels in pristine, uncirculated condition sell for as much as $5,525. Why 1962 Jefferson nickels are collectible, although 1962 Jefferson nickels are common in circulation, high-grade examples, especially those with full steps, are much less frequently found. The general weakness in strikes during this era makes full steps coins more desirable. Additionally, era collectors may seek out repunched mint marks or other varieties that can add uniqueness to an otherwise common coin. Conclusion, the 1962 Jefferson nickel is generally common, especially in circulated condition. However, uncirculated coins with full steps or notable mint errors can be more valuable. Collectors often look for high-quality specimens with sharp strikes, making coins with full steps or error varieties especially prized. The 1964 Jefferson Nickel is a common coin from the Jefferson Nickel series, which has been in continuous production since 1938. Despite its high mintage, it can have value in higher grades or if it has notable varieties or errors. Collectors particularly look for coins with the full steps designation or unique errors. History of the 1964 Jefferson Nickel, the Jefferson Nickel, designed by Felix Schlag, features a portrait of Thomas Jefferson on the obverse in his Virginia estate, Monticello, on the reverse. The design remained unchanged from 1938 until 2004. Key Varieties and Errors, Full Steps, FS, Designation, One of the most sought-after varieties is the Full Steps, FS, Designation. This refers to coins that exhibit a fully detailed strike on the Monticello steps, which is rare due to weak strikes and worn dies in the 1960s. Full steps coins from 1964 are particularly hard to find, making them valuable. Repunched mint mark, RPM some 1964, D nickels show a repunched mint mark, where the D mint mark was struck more than once. This error can increase the coin's value. Double die errors. There are reports of some 1964 Jefferson nickels featuring double dies, particularly in the lettering or details on the reverse. These varieties are less common but sought after by collectors. Other errors, other errors such as off-center strikes, die cracks, and planchet errors can make a 1964 nickel more valuable. Current value of the 1964 Jefferson nickel, due to its large mintage, the 1964 Jefferson nickel is typically worth only a small premium over face value in circulated condition. However, uncirculated coins, full steps coins, and those with errors can command higher prices. According to the NGC price guide, as of October 2024, a Jefferson nickel from 1964 in circulated condition is worth between $3 and $5. However, on the open market 1964 nickels in pristine, uncirculated condition sell for as much as $3,255. Though common in circulation, 1964 Jefferson nickels are sought by collectors when they are in high-grade uncirculated condition, especially with full steps. Coins with notable errors also attract attention. Due to the large mintage, the coin is affordable for entry-level collectors, but high-grade or error coins appeal to more advanced collectors as well. The 1965 Jefferson Nickel is part of the long-running series featuring the third President of the United States, Thomas Jefferson, on the obverse, and his estate, Monticello, on the reverse. While this coin is not rare, it does hold some interest among collectors due to potential varieties and its historical context. History of the 1965 Jefferson Nickel The 1965 Jefferson Nickel is notable because it was minted during a period of change in the U.S. coinage system. Due to a national coin shortage in the early 1960s, the U.S. Mint took several steps to alleviate the problem. Among these changes, the U.S. Mint temporarily halted the production of silver coinage for dimes, quarters, and half dollars, starting in 1965. Key Varieties and Errors Full Steps, FS, Designation, As with other Jefferson Nichols, coins with a sharp strike and clearly defined steps on Monticello, known as Full Steps, are more valuable. This designation is difficult to find on coins from this period because the dies often produced weak strikes. Double die errors. Some Jefferson nickels from the 1960s are known to exhibit double die varieties, particularly on the obverse in the lettering or date. While no major double die varieties are widely recognized for the 1965 nickel, it's always worth checking for these kinds of minting errors. Other errors, off-center strikes, die cracks, and other minting errors can increase the coin's value. 
Current value of the 1965 Jefferson nickel, the value of the 1965 Jefferson nickel depends on its condition, whether it has the full steps designation, and any errors or varieties. In general, this coin is common and not particularly valuable in circulated condition, but it can be more valuable in higher grades. According to the NGC price guide, as of October 2024, a Jefferson nickel from 1965 in circulated condition is worth between $3 and $5. However, on the open market 1965 nickels in pristine, uncirculated condition sell for as much as $2,255. Why the 1965 Jefferson nickel is collectible, the 1965 Jefferson nickel is not particularly rare or valuable in circulated condition, but it is part of a key transitional period in U.S. coinage. The lack of mint marks during this time adds a historical curiosity to the coin, and collectors still seek out high-quality, uncirculated examples. The 1977 Jefferson Nickel is part of the long-running series that has featured Thomas Jefferson on the obverse and his Virginia home, Monticello, on the reverse since its introduction in 1938. This particular coin year is not particularly rare, but high-grade examples and those with notable errors or varieties can be valuable to collectors. History of the 1977 Jefferson Nickel The Jefferson Nickel design remained largely unchanged from its introduction until 2004. The 1977 nickel was minted during a period when U.S. coin production had stabilized following the coin shortages of the 1960s. This means that the 1977 Jefferson nickel does not carry any special historical context, but it remains a piece of standard U.S. coinage with collectible interest in high-quality examples. Key varieties and errors, as with other years, certain varieties or errors on the 1977 Jefferson nickel can increase its value. These include, full steps, FS, designation, Jefferson Nichols with sharply struck, fully defined steps on the Monticello building, referred to as full steps, are highly prized by collectors. Achieving a strong strike with full steps was difficult in the 1970s, making coins with this designation more valuable. Double die errors, some Jefferson Nichols may show doubling in the lettering or other details, although no major double die varieties are widely recognized for the 1977 nickel. Other mint errors, off-center strikes, die cracks, and planchet errors are always sought after by collectors and can significantly boost the coin's value. Current value of the 1977 Jefferson nickel, the value of a 1977 Jefferson nickel largely depends on its condition. In circulated condition, it is common and typically holds only face value. Uncirculated coins, particularly those with the full steps designation or errors, can command higher prices. According to the NGC price guide, as of October 2024, a Jefferson nickel from 1977 in circulated condition is worth between $3 and $5. However, on the open market 1977 nickels in pristine, uncirculated condition sell for as much as $4,570. Collectability, the 1977 Jefferson nickel is a common coin in circulation, but collectors are interested in finding examples in higher grades, particularly those with the full steps designation. Coins with strong strikes and well-preserved details are more collectible and command higher prices in the marketplace. Conclusion, the 1977 Jefferson Nickel is a common date in the Jefferson Nickel series, with little value in circulated condition. 1980p Jefferson Nickel is part of the long-running series featuring Thomas Jefferson on the obverse and Monticello, his Virginia estate, on the reverse. Although it is not considered a rare or particularly valuable coin in circulated condition, uncirculated examples with high-grade details and certain varieties or errors can hold added value. History of the 1980p Jefferson Nickel By 1980p, the Jefferson Nickel had been in continuous production for over four decades with very few changes to its design. The coin had become a staple in U.S. Coinage and mintages during this period were relatively high. No major design or material changes occurred for the Jefferson Nickel in 1980p, making it a standard issue from this era. Key varieties and errors, as with other Jefferson Nickels, certain varieties or mint errors can make 1980p Jefferson Nickels more valuable to collectors, full steps, FS, designation, coins with a fully struck, sharp image of Monticello steps on the reverse are referred to as full steps. Finding full steps nickels from the 1980s can be challenging, as many coins from this era were not struck with full detail. Full steps coins are highly sought after by collectors and can fetch significantly higher prices.
Double dye varieties, some Jefferson nickels from various years have been found with double dye varieties, where parts of the design, usually letters or numbers, are doubled due to a dye error. While no major double dye varieties are widely recognized for the 1980p nickel, it's always worth checking for such errors. Other mint errors, off-center strikes, die cracks, and planchet errors are valuable and can significantly increase a coin's value. Current value of the 1980p Jefferson nickel, the value of a 1980p Jefferson nickel largely depends on its condition. In circulated condition, it is a common coin and holds little value beyond its face value. However, uncirculated examples, especially those with full steps or mint errors, can be worth more. According to the NGC price guide, as of October 2024, a Jefferson nickel from 1980p in circulated condition is worth between $3 and $5. However, on the open market 1980p nickels in pristine, uncirculated condition sell for as much as $2,070. Collectability, the 1980p Jefferson nickel is common and easily found in circulation. Most circulated examples do not hold significant value, but collectors look for high-grade uncirculated coins, particularly those with full steps. The full steps designation is rare for this era and greatly increases the desirability and value of the coin. The 1983p Jefferson nickel, like other nickels from the Jefferson series, features Thomas Jefferson on the obverse and his Virginia estate, Monticello, on the reverse. While 1983 was not a particularly notable year for the series in terms of design or composition, this year has some collectible interest due to high-grade examples, mint errors, and the general scarcity of uncirculated coins from this period. History of the 1983p Jefferson nickel by 1983, the U.S. Mint was producing large quantities of Jefferson nickels as part of the regular coinage supply. However, due to a coin shortage in the early 1980s and a weak economy, fewer mint sets were sold to the public, and many collectors found it difficult to obtain high-quality examples from circulation. As a result, uncirculated 1983p Jefferson nickels, especially those in higher grades, are more valuable than typical circulated coins from other years. Mintage Numbers 1983, Philadelphia, no mint mark 561,614,000. The Philadelphia mint produced over half a billion Jefferson nickels in 1983, which makes this coin common in circulation. However, finding high-grade, well-struck examples can be challenging due to the minting process during this time. Key Varieties and Errors as with other years, collectors seek out certain varieties and errors that can make the 1983 P. Jefferson nickel more valuable, Full Steps, FS, Designation, Jefferson Nichols with a fully struck Monticello on the reverse, showing all six steps in detail, are referred to as Full Steps, FS. These coins are difficult to find for certain years, including 1983, because many coins from the 1980s were not well struck. Double Die Varieties While no major double die varieties are known for the 1983 P. Jefferson Nickel, any coin with clear doubling in the lettering or design would be highly collectible. Other mint errors, off-center strikes, die cracks, and planchet errors are always of interest to collectors and can significantly raise the value of the coin. Current value of the 1983 P. Jefferson Nickel The value of the 1983 P. Jefferson Nickel depends on its condition, rarity of errors, and whether it features the full steps designation. Most circulated examples have little additional value beyond their face value, but uncirculated or error coins can be worth much more. According to the NGC price guide, as of October 2024, a Jefferson nickel from 1983p in circulated condition is worth between $3 and $5. However, on the open market 1983p nickels in pristine, uncirculated condition sell for as much as $5,510. Collectability The 1983p Jefferson nickel is relatively common in circulated condition but becomes much more desirable in higher uncirculated grades, especially those with the full steps designation.